Who's that? Commander Claw. Who's bad? Commander Claw. Welcome to my channel. I am Commander Claw. I'm on YouTube to help you brew ideas and to deck build faster. So stay tuned to this video and watch everything about Chishiri the Shattered Blade. You're here for a reason. So let's get right into it. All right, Chishiro the Shattered Blade. He's a 4-4 snake, snake samurai, legendary creature, red, green, two colors. He says whenever an aura or equipment enters the battlefield under your control, create a 2-2 red spirit creature token with menace. At the beginning of your instep, put a plus one, plus one counter on each modified creature you control. You already know what he does. This is why you're here. I'm going to skip to the next slide for those who don't really, or is your first time watching this video. Here, check it out. Yeah, it's nice, big, easy to read while you're on your phone, tablet, iPad, somebody pad, at somebody's pad, TV, whatever. Just know we're going to be focusing on the second ability at the beginning of your end step. Put a plus one, plus one counter on each modified creature you control. So modified creatures are creatures with equipments, auras, or counters on them. Any type of counters, which will equal modification. So, moving on to counter magic. I know, some of y'all are thinking blue spells and stuff, but no, we're talking about counters. Here we go. So, we got Grim Gully the Generous. For three mana red, green, and the colors, he's got a 3-3 body. He's a goblin shaman. He says each other non-human creature you control enters the battlefield with an additional plus one, plus one counter on it. So that means every time one of your 2-2 red spirit tokens with menace comes into play, they get a plus one, plus one counter, making them a modified creature. Ooh. Putting that nog in the use. I got some more good cards. Oh, okay. Actually, this is almost the same card, but you're going to run doubles on it to do the same effect. Her name is Renata Call to the Hunt. Uh, she's two colors, two green, legendary enchantment creature, demigod, star, then three toughness. She says her power is equal to your devotion to green. Okay. Devotion is how many green color symbols are on your permanents that are on the battlefield. Then she says, each other creature you control enters the battlefield with an additional plus one, plus one counter on it. Same effect as Grim Gully the Generous. So every time a 2-2 Red Spirit token with Miss comes into play, comes with a plus one, plus one counter, making it a modified creature. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. You'll be building your board state bigger, faster, and stronger, just like Kanye West said. Okay, next up is 60 seconds of value. I will attempt... To give you four cards. One card is from this Bloomborough set, which I really like a lot. But 60 seconds to discuss these four cards that you need to put in your deck. Or you can, you know, tinker with it. Tinker. For those who know that blue spell. You can't play it in Commander, guys. It's banned. So forget it. Tinker is banned. So look it up to see what it does. Have fun with it. Yada, yada, yada. 60 seconds starting now. Okay, we got Innkeeper's Talent. It is a two-man enchantment class. When it comes into play, at the beginning of your combat, I'm sorry, when you play it, it says, at the beginning of combat on your turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control, making it a modified creature. Okay, level two, tap one green. Permanents you control with counters on them have ward one. Okay, so whatever modified creature you control, they get ward one. Tap four mana, go to level three. Uh, three colors and a green. It says, if you would put one or more counters on a permanent or player, put twice that many of each of those kinds of counters on that permanent or player instead. This is exactly like, I forgot what that stupid enchantment green spell is that's super expensive. It's the same effect, bro. You, you can't go wrong with this. I'm sure this card is a whole lot cheaper and probably more fun to play because it gives you more effects and it's not as of a target compared to Parallel Lives. That's what it is. I think it's Parallel Lives. Yeah. So, bam. Not only what this card does is make a modified creature, give it ward one, and doubles the counters on the creatures. So, when you play Chishiri the Shattered Blade and his second ability triggers, you put a plus one, plus one counter on all your creatures, you get to do it one more time. Wow. 
Okay, next up we have the Evolution Witness. It is a three mana elf shaman mutant on a two one body with the adaptability where you pay one colors and a green. It says if this creature has no plus one plus one counters on it, put two plus one plus one counters on it, making it a modified creature. So it says whenever one or more plus one plus one counters are put on Evolution Witness, return target permanent card from your graveyard to hand. So obviously you can play this without it being adapted. So when you adapt it, you get to return a card from your graveyard. Ooh, slick. And if you have Cheshiri the Shattered Blade on the battlefield with it, you put a plus one plus one counter at the beginning of your end step, triggering another chance to return target permanent card from your graveyard to hand. Bam. Slick nasty. Come on, y'all. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, Silk Guard. It is a X spell. Green and X is an instant speed. It says put a plus one plus one counter on each of up to X target creatures you control. Then it says auras, equipment, and modified creatures you control gain hexproof until end of turn. You got to love your protection spells for your creatures because they will get hit with a swords to plowshares trying to exile them. We don't want that. But this is a really good card because you get the buff up your creatures. And give it hexproof at instant speed. Perfect, perfect. Keeping your commander and his affiliates on the battlefield a little bit longer. Okay, by far, this is my favorite card that I'm sharing with you. It is not on EDH rec. I just thought of it because I was like, what's another way to put counters on? Bam, proliferation. We have the Contaminate Grafter. For five mana on a five, five body, it's a Phyrexian Druid. It has Trample Toxic One. It says, whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to one or more players, proliferate. Why is that important? Because you made two, two red spirit tokens with menace with Chishiri the Shattered Blade. Bam. So every time you swing with your menace creatures, your opponents need two creatures to block one, and you get to proliferate. So, honestly, you can only really do this one combat phase proliferate per combat phase because whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to one or more players proliferate so this is per combat phase essentially uh disregard the last ability you're not even going to be worried about it because you're not doing any toxic or poison infect stuff with this with um to share the shadow blade okay but what i want to tell you is this is a really good card to add counters to all your permanents in another way. So for example, if you have the Ozolith out and has counters on it, you get to add another counter on it without sacrificing another creature. Or you have um, Planeswalkers out there and they have loyalty counters on them. This is a good way to put another loyalty counter on your um, Planeswalker. Come on now, come on now. So, so. Now, if you found this helpful and want even more ideas to help you deck build, join the channel. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you. Okay, next we got Invigorating Hot Spring for three mana, red, green, and a colorless. It's an enchantment. It says when the ETBs put four plus one plus one counters on it. Okay, then it says modified creatures you control have haste. Ooh. Ooh. So remember when all those creatures that came into play with plus one plus one counters? Mm, mm. They, now they got haste. You can attack with two two red spirit tokens with menace. Anyways, it says remove a plus one plus one counter from invigorating hot spring. Put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control. Activate only as a sorcery and only once each turn. This is really good because you get to make more modified creatures and essentially give them haste on creatures that come into play. No brainer. Next card. Thundering Raiju. I know this is a lot. I know it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. But it's okay. It's okay. You're going to like this card. It's worth it. For four mana on a 3-3 three, three body, it's a spirit, but it looks like a dragon in the artwork. It has haste. It says when Thundering Raiju attacks, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control. Then Thundering Raiju deals X damage to each opponent, where X is the number of modified creatures you control other than Thundering Raiju. So all those two two red spirit tokens with menace that you've been making, oh, those are modified creatures. So when you attack with Thundering Raiju, he's 
attack ants at 3-3, and he's able to do how many creatures, modified creatures you control. And that could be an extra 2 damage, extra 3 damage, extra 4 damage, extra 5 damage if your opponents didn't stop you. So, bam, this was just a nice attack spell. Really good attacking creature. It really looked like it should have flying, but it doesn't. It's just a 3-3 haster. Moving on to the last and final card. This is for Chaos players only. The last Shashiri Shatterblade, y'all saw what I gave y'all shared. I got another aura enchantment curse for you. Curse of Stalked Prey for two mana, one red colors, or a curse. Enchant a player. Whenever a creature deals combat damage to an enchanted player, put a plus one plus one counter on that creature. This is another way to make modified creatures and also to give incentive for your opponents to attack someone different besides you. Yeah, yeah. If You can't play this card if you don't like chaos, straight up, straight up. If you are afraid to play the game, you can't play this card. But anyways, it's a good way to buff your creatures, uh, make them bigger, because your creatures have two two red spirit tokens with menace. Then if Chashiri's on the battlefield, uh, they get to add an additional plus one plus one counter. So now they become three threes or four fours or five fives. Thank you for watching the video. I should have two more videos of Chashiri the Shattered Blade. Um, thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, thanks for checking me out. Hit the subscribe button if you like these ideas and you want to continue uh, building your decks. And I, hopefully I can make your deck building faster. I got some more content brewing in my head, but it just takes a while to put this out. Anyways, thank you, y'all. Uh, you know what I'm going to say. Two, two red spirit tokens with menace.